Also tonight, we're working the latest on the financial crisis in Providence. As we reported as breaking news live at 5, Providence's credit rating has been downgraded to just a couple of notches above junk bond status. Tonight, we have new reaction to what this means for the city's money woes. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest. Mike Mayor Tavares says the downgraded bond rating reinforces what he's been saying all along that the city needs to do more to reduce its deficit. Now that new bond rating also means that if the city needs to borrow money, it will actually cost them more money to do so. Concerned citizens met with Mayor Angel Tavares right after news broke about the city's bond rating downgrade. It's a bad times that we're living in. we got to do something. On Wednesday, Fitch rating slashed the city's bond rating three steps from A to triple B. That's just two steps above junk bond status. Mayor Tavares says the downgrade is a concern, but not a surprise. To be low with three ratings is, is difficult. We certainly expect it to be lowered, uh, but to go down three notches as we did uh, uh, certainly difficult and it's just a reminder of the serious and difficult work that we have ahead of us. According to the Fitch Ratings Report, Providence may run out of money before the end of the fiscal year. The report cites the city's underfunded pension system as a major factor in the downgrade. We have to get our retiree costs under control, both uh, pensions and health care, and also we need our tax exempts to do more. Uh, they, they do a lot and they help us, but uh, we need them to do more. This lifelong Providence resident agrees. I hope he can do well with the uh, universities because certainly they should be the ones that are going to come up and give us a good, a good help, but I am concerned about it, which is why I'm here. Mayor Tavares tells me he's hopeful that the city will be able to avoid a supplemental tax increase because he says the city's tax base is already overburdened. Live in Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.